And then we are done. Name, review. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy this little integral video. The integrals. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. So you guys are absolute suckers for amazing integrals. So yeah, here, here's another one feeding you some, some good, good stuff. We're going to deal with this right here today. And I really enjoy those natural log something integrals because most of the time it's going to turn out absolutely fabulous with some really cool, um, yeah, um, re results just involving pi or, um, I don't know, Catalan's constant or something like this. Yeah, it's, it's really quite cool. So most of the time you end up with something really good. And yeah, we're going to give it a shot. I would like to do some Taylor series stuff, but at the moment it wouldn't be any good to get the Taylor series of natural log squared, because then you are going to take the square of two infinite sums. So you have to take the Cauchy product in the end. You can probably do this, but that ain't the way to go. We don't want that. No, 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 no. At first, I would like to introduce a little substitution. Would be nice to get rid of this natural log right here. So why not say that um, our natural log of x is nothing but t. When we differentiate that, we are going to get 1 over x dx is equal to dt. Now our goal is to find out what x actually is. Well, easy peasy lemon squeezy because if we just apply base e on both sides, we're going to get that x is nothing but e to the t. Meaning, dt is nothing but e to the negative t dx. We can multiply both sides by e to the t. It's not equal to zero to get that dx. It's nothing but e to the t dt. Okay, we can plug this chunk in here. Let's take a look at the upper and lower bounds. They are going to change respectively. If plug zero into our natural log, it's going to diverge to negative infinity. Nya, 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 nya. Yet another improper thing. It's always so improper. Yeah, it, it always was improper. And if we plug one into here, where natural log of one is just zero. Okay, then we get natural log of x squared. Well, this is going to give us t squared, so that's not too hard of a thing x squared is going to give us e to the t squared, but this is just e to the 2 times t plus 1, okay, times dx, which is nothing but e to the t integrated with respect to t. Now we can take a look at Taylor series expansions. I only really did this Taylor series expansion stuff because I wanted to evaluate several integrals and identities with it. So that's the main reason why I introduced Taylor series in such a big way with so many videos, radius of convergence, blah, blah, blah. I want you guys to notice a little thing. We can rewrite one over, and I'm going to put it like this because most people are used to this. One plus e to the 2t is nothing but one minus negative e to the 2t. And if everything's in our radius of convergence, and it is, because if we plug negative infinity into here, e is going to go to zero. Well, cool, in our radius of convergence. And if we plug zero into here in the upper bound, it's on an open interval, then we get one. So yeah, this does turn out to be a nice geometric series. So we are going to get a sum running from k equals to zero to infinity of negative e to the 2t to the kth power. And yeah, you can break this up into negative one to the kth power times e to the two times k times t. That's what we are going to do now. We can plug this chunk into here. Now we are going to get an integral running from negative infinity to zero. That looks absolutely ugly. That's not a nice integral, so I'm terribly sorry. Then we have t squared e to the t, infinite sum running from zero to infinity, an infinity boy. And then we have negative one to the kth power, e to the two times t times k, integrated with respect to t. Okay, now we have to do some justifying in the normal case, or we can just play engineer right here, QED, I would say, what whatsoever, was zu beweisen war. Let's put it the um, German way. Um, what was it? Uh, quod era demonstrantum, I guess. Um, I, I really can't remember, never mind. 
you can probably use the dominator conversion theorem to find a little dominator, an upper bound for those partial sums right here, that is going to dominate this integral. Which means that this integrand is going to converge basically. So you can probably find a little dominator right here, or you can just check for uniform convergence. It's a series of exponential functions and this should work out. So it's probably justified to interchange the infinite summation and this limit right here, an integral. Also, we can bring this negative one to the kth power to the outside. Let's do this real quick. So we are going to end up with a sum running from k equals to zero to infinity, negative one to the kth power. Also, we have an integral from negative infinity to zero. t squared e to the t times this chunk right here. We can just bring it together, factoring out the t right here in the exponent, t times 2k plus one integrated with respect to t. And now it's a simple job for integration by parts. Meaning we have to differentiate something and we have to integrate something plus, minus, plus, minus. And here we go. Differentiating t squared is the good choice right here because it goes to zero way faster than this chunk. This is going to go to 2t, 2 and 0. Also integrating this exponential function is also quite easy. You just have to divide the integration by this argument right here. So meaning 1 over 2 times k plus 1 e to the t. 2 times k plus 1 and then for the next part 1 over 2k plus 1 but the whole thing squared e to the something you know what it is it's the same thing every time up there and then 1 over 2 times k plus 1 to the third power e to the something exponential function of something yeah it, it looks like a snack schlange but it's not okay now we have an infinite sum negative 1 to the kth power k from 0 to infinity and also multiply this together, this together, this together, apply the upper and lower bounds and then we are basically done. So we are going to get t squared over 2k plus 1 e to the t 2k plus 1 from negative infinity to 0. Then we are going to get negative 2t over 2k plus 1 squared e to the t 2k plus 1 from negative infinity to zero and also for the last part I'm terribly sorry I'm out of space as always yeah it's always the same spiel right here in this room on this chalkboard then we have um, plus two over two k plus one to the third power e to the t times two k plus one from negative infinity to zero okay coolio Let's do some arguing and let's see if something cancels out. If we plug zero into here because of this t in the numerator, it's going to vanish. Same spiel right here. If we plug negative infinity into here, we get a negative infinity or just in infinity, negative one times negative one is um, positive infinity over zero situation. But you can just use L'Hopital two iterations and you are going to notice that the exponential function grows way faster. Overall, this is just going to go to zero in the end. So just use Papa L'Hopital for this, seriously. Same spiel here. The exponential function is absolutely going to dominate this t up here in the numerator when we let the limit approach negative infinity. So this is also going to cancel out. Just use L'Hopital once again. If we plug zero into here, e to the zero of power is just one. Okay, so on this part, it's going to go to um, two over two k plus one to the third power. e to the negative infinity is one over infinity is going to go to zero. So this is nothing but zero. In the end, our integral, I'm going to call it i. This right here is i. Okay, this right here is i. It's nothing but a sum running from zero to infinity of negative 1 to the kth power. Then we have 2 over 2k plus 1 to the third power. And this is where it's at. I do most things on purpose. That's why you had a video on a certain series two days ago or something. If you bring this 2 to the outside, this might seem pretty familiar. This whole sum is going to vary to 2 times pi to the third power over 32. 32 is nothing but 2 times 16. 2 and 2 is going to cancel out to pi to the third power over 16. And then we are done. 
I thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy this little integral video. I think that's quite a cool integral. And you can easily solve it using elementary methods right here. Integration by parts basically and doing some little substitution. Once you know what this weird series is going to weigh A2, everything is going to fall into place pretty nicely and easily. My neck hurts a little bit. Ah, oh, oh yeah. It's so warm outside at the moment, I don't know, um, it's going to become spring again, or it's spring already. I really don't know. But yeah, um, I thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and recommend channel if you like. If you want to support the channel a bit more, buy those stupid ass t-shirts I created or support the channel on Patreon or something. No matter what you do, I love you. That rhyme pretty well. Yeah. See you on my voice. Love you. Appreciate you. Ciao.